One question that often, often comes back is how can we get free materials? There's also how can we get free auras, but today we are going to take a look at a few materials that you can get for free if you want to. So let's get this party started. I already made videos about how you can get some of your free materials from the Booster Gold vendor or from the Quarks vendor. So go take a look at my first how to get free material video if you want to know about those. Today what we are going to take a look at is the Titan's equipment supplier. Each piece of enhanced battle armor is available in multiple combat roles and customizable colors. So basically they changed the currency of the, the vendor. Instead of requiring a Titan cred like it used to, now it requires source marks. So anybody who can gain source marks should be able to purchase those materials. The one thing that I'm not certain of, and you guys can tell me in the comment section down below, please, if you do know, tell me. I'm not sure if free-to-play players can purchase from this vendor. Uh, I would be under the impression that in order to be able to purchase items from this vendor, you have to be either a legendary or you have to be a premium player who did purchase the, the episode. So I'm not certain if free-to-play players have access to this vendor. So if, if free-to-play players do have access to this vendor, let us know in the comment section down below. So if that is the case, then you can purchase those, those uh, materials completely for free. But either way, also some people will argue semantic uh, because you have to use coins or uh, in this case, uh, source marks to purchase the material. They don't see it as being free. When you can earn the marks just playing the game, it is still free. You're not paying for those marks. For some reason, people seem to think that because you're using marks to purchase the material, somehow the material is not for free. By that logic, the gear that steel sells is not free. The same with the gear that our friend Bad Girl is selling. Or any other vendor in the game. When you can earn the marks just playing the game, it is still free. You're not paying for those marks. So the, the, there's uh, four materials that you can get from this vendor. There's the icon material, there's the critical icon material, there's the lava material, and there's the magma material. Uh, there's also, in terms of aura, there's the ember aura. Not too crazy about that aura, but eh, maybe I'll find a look that works with it. For the materials, obviously, I cannot show you the preview. There's no preview for the materials, but never fear. I will show you what the materials look like so that you can decide if you want to purchase them or not. Uh, I didn't make a video specifically for those materials yet. Uh, I'll probably do that in the future, but today I will show you those materials uh, fairly quickly so that you can decide for yourself if you want to, to earn the marks to be able to purchase them, if it's worth it for you to, to farm and farm and farm for source marks to be able to purchase those materials. So the first material is the magma material. It's a pretty cool looking uh, material as you can see. So if you wanted to create a character made of uh, magma, Greetings, you can. Visitor. Scanning island perimeter. Not sure why my robot is going crazy. Too many pets, that's what happens. Performing scheduled patrol. So it's a pretty cool looking material. I will try to make a video just with this, uh, with these materials uh, specifically uh, in the future. I just didn't get the chance uh, just yet. And obviously, as with most material videos, I'll try to come up with a few different looks for each material. And here we have the lava material. You can see it's, uh, it's uh, quite different from the magma material. There's a bit of animation uh, in the material as well. So depending on the style you want to try to recreate, uh, you're, you're going to go for one or the other. So pretty much all the materials they had with the Titans vendor were pretty cool looking material. And here we have the icon material. Greetings, visitor. It reminds me a bit of the, the force field material. Oh, let me show you the T-sphere. I've been waiting to make a video with the T-sphere for some time and holy crap, sometimes the T-sphere disappears. I don't know where it is. So I can't make the Patrolling video with it. Intruders. And then one day 
by accident I'll come to my base and then there's a T-Sphere what I really am not planning to make the video at all so I showed you the T-Sphere I'll try to make a video about the T-Sphere as soon as I can but somehow that T-Sphere disappears uh, on me so I don't have time patrol. not sure if it goes through a wall or goes through the, 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 the floor or something but sometimes it I just can't find it in the base <laughs> So to get back to our material, it reminds me a bit of the force field material. But it's a pretty cool looking material, but I have to admit, I prefer the, uh, the critical eye color. I'll show it to you in just a minute. But this one is, uh, is a pretty decent material. Ah, uh, both my dogs. Ah, oh, they're so cute. Oh no! Crypto uh, trapped uh, our poor wonder dog. I should probably make a pet Scanning thing island here perimeter. And here's the critical icon material. You can compare it a bit with the icon material. Uh, it's uh, a little bit more shiny, and uh, but it, and it's also more in the in the tone, tones of orange as opposed to yellow, like the icon material. Out of uh, the four materials I just showed you, this one has to be uh, my favorite. Patrolling for intruders. So now you're going to be able to know what the materials look like. Uh, so you're going to be able to decide if you want to spend uh, 200 source marks to purchase those materials. And 200 source mark, it's uh, it's quite a big Scanning amount. Island uh, perimeter. But. It's still better than having to, to spend actual Greetings money. Visitor. Just for the fun of it, let's take a look at how much source marks are on the marketplace. So 200 source marks are basically $25. Uh, obviously, it's 10% less if you are a subscriber like I am. So instead of 25 bucks, it's uh, 22 and a half. But uh, so basically each of those auras, if you were to pay money for the source marks, each aura would cost you twenty-five dollars. Patrolling for intruders. So farming for source marks in the game allows you to purchase the or the, the materials completely for free, Island as opposed to having to spend twenty-five bucks for the material. So our old friend here, the Titans Equipment Supplier, can sell you those materials. When you can earn the marks just playing the game. It is still free, you're not paying for those marks. If somehow you want to play semantics and the word free bothers you somehow, replace free with do not have to spend actual real money. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below. And again, if you are a free to play player, let me know, can you purchase items from the Titans equipment supplier or not? Now that we can use source marks to be able to purchase the items from the vendor, can free to play player purchase items from this vendor? Please let us know in the comment section down below. Uh, I'm pretty certain that you probably have to be a legendary player or a premium player that owns the Teen Titans episode to be able to purchase items from, the, from this vendor, but I could be mistaken. So if, if free to play player can purchase items from this little vendor, let us know in the comment section down below. And that's pretty much it for now, guys. So as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Hmm, I can see the gold sellers are uh, out in force, I guess. Oh, well.